gentlemen, this is the opening match for season's beatings. Fans, Greg Hunter here alongside John Johnson, and we've got a heck of an opener tonight. Tonight, we got Stephen Walters starting off against Jordan Flyer, a couple of newcomers to the Friday Night franchise. A couple of newcomers it is, and Stephen Walters, who is managed by this cheap rip-off pimp wannabe, Davasio. Very impressive kid, but I don't know why he has uh, Devasio in his corner. Jordan Flyer, where did you say he was from again? Uh, Jordan Flyer is a uh, proud resident of Marion, North Carolina. Yeah, where's that at? North Carolina. Exactly. And that just tells you the intelligence level of one Jordan Flyer. People from North Carolina aren't smart. You do realize that your, uh, your favorite contender to the U.S. title, Brent Silver, is from North Carolina, right? That's just a vicious rumor. Brent Silver is from Weaverville, North Carolina. That's still which in North is, Carolina. Which is far enough away from regular North Carolina where he's intelligent. He's smarter than the rest. Oh, really? Well, to the action here, ducking a clothesline, and, well, there's your, uh, what did you call him, a cheap, uh, a cheap dime store pimp or something along he's those lines? He's a dime store pimp. And right there was probably the smartest thing he ever did. Jordan Flyer was trying to kick him. He blocked it, and Jordan Flyer fell flat on his face. And right now, Steven Walters going for the pin. And going for it quickly. Walters now on his feet as uh, Jordan Flyer here ramming him into the turnbuckle. Flyer blocks it, right hand, puts him into the turnbuckle hard. And that would be a less than legal blow. I well, didn't see anything. What happened? Uh, that would be a trick knee. Oh, uh, I see. I got you. Yeah. Well, right now, what you're looking at is the last big event of the year for NWA Wildside. It's season's beatings. And we got two great competitors in the ring right now. And right now, Jordan Flyer blocking that attempt at a, uh, at a suplex. And there's a fisherman suplex, too. Well, even Walter's shoulders were down on that one, not able quite to get the bridge up. But Walter's keeping on the offensive. He pulls his man up. Irish whip toward us here at the announce booth, ducking a clothesline. Brings him up. Oh, my Lord. Beautiful reversal there into a DDT. Jordan Flyer, a couple years into the, uh, into the sport of professional wrestling, admired A.J. Styles, found his way here to Cornelia, Georgia, to NWA Wildside, where it all started for one Mr. A.J. Styles. And I had to give him credit. The kid, he picked a pretty good role model to look up to. But let me tell you something. This Steven Walters kid, he's not impressed with AJ Styles. He's not impressed with Jordan Flyer. And tonight, I'm predicting that Steven Walters is coming out on top. I can't wait. Well, right here, folks. Flyer off. Huge clothesline. He sure could have picked a worse person to uh, emulate than the multiple-time NWA champion of the world. But right now, Flyer. Yeah, he could have picked you. Anyway, nice hurricanrana there. Turned in from that uh, flying head scissors attempt. Making a cover. Posey right now, administering that 10 count, but Flyer on his feet. These two men have been with us now for about a month. Just a little over a month here at the NWA Arena in Cornell, Georgia. Nice spinning neck breaker right there by Stephen Walters. Only a two count, says referee Mike Posey. That looked like it could have been all. But these two young men, this is the second time they've actually been in the ring together. And let me tell you something, from what I know, these two have been chasing each other all through the Mid-Atlantic. All oh right, there, Lord. one, two, two, and three. That's it. Let's send it down to Nigel Sherrod for the official.